Welcome to January's Leaco Challenge. Today's problem is valid parentheses. Given a string S containing just the characters uh, open close, open close parentheses, brackets, whatever, determine if the input string is valid. An input string is valid if open brackets must be closed by the same type of brackets, okay? And open brackets must be closed in the correct order. Now, what does that mean? Well, if we had a open parentheses, the next character should be a closed parentheses of the same type. So all of these are going to equal true. This one's going to equal false. And this one's also going to be false, even though technically we could count up all the characters and see an open and close one. We can map each one, but it's not in the correct order. So if order matters, what's the approach that we should take? Well, um, basically, as soon as you see this problem, it's a classic problem, you should think of a stack approach relatively quickly. The reason we want to go with a stack is we want to check the last in and check to see if we could pop that off with a closed parentheses. So what I mean by that is there's two types of parentheses here, right? There's an open and there's a close. Now there's three types of those. And when we see an open one, what we're going to do is add that to some sort of stack. So say that we have uh, this one, we're going to add that to our stack here. Uh, and the next one should be a closed parenthesis for it to be valid. So if the next one is this, what we'll do is pop this off our stack. So we had like open, open parentheses, open parentheses, and the next one is a closed parentheses. Then we can just pop this one off. And that's going to have this one left. And if the next one is another close parentheses, we can pop that one off. At the very end, our stack should be empty, meaning we've accounted for all the parentheses. So the trick here then is to differentiate between open and close and return a false when we find that there's a mismatch or if we have a close parentheses and our stack is empty. Because if we um, have a close parentheses but our stack says there's nothing in there, that means there's no way we could ever account for that close parentheses, right? that's going to be an instant false. So to do, make this a little, little cleaner, what I'm going to do is first create a mapper. And I'm going to map each closed parenthesis with the open parenthesis. And I'll show you the reason why I do that in a little bit. So let's take our closed parenthesis, which are going to be this one, this bracket, and this squiggly bracket. And we want to map that to the open one right here. Now we don't actually need to do this, but this uh, makes it a lot cleaner. Basically, we want to start with our stack, and that's just going to be an empty list. Now for each parenthesis in S, what do we want to do? Well, we want to first check to see if it's uh, open or close. And I think we'll start off with a close because that's what's going to be able to tell us if we should return a false pretty quickly. So if the parenthesis is a closed parenthesis, so if p in, let's say, mapper, because that's going to check to see all the keys, we want to see, do we have something on the stack at the very end that we could pop off? So if, if not stack, that's just an instant false, right? Because, like I said, we can't ever account for a closed parenthesis afterward. Uh, otherwise, if the p, or I should say mapper p, if this close parenthesis is equal to whatever's last on the stack, then we could pop it off right here. We pop off whatever's on the stack. And that, that accounts for the open parenthesis and the close parenthesis. Uh, otherwise, we can't do that, so that's actually going to return a false. And we can actually clean this statement here up a little. Uh, what we can do is instead take this up here and make this an or and say if it doesn't equal what's on the end of the stack, then return a false. Otherwise, we know that we could account for it, so we'll pop it off. Now we need to take care of the open parentheses. And what do we do with open parentheses? Well, literally, we just always append them. We just append our open parenthesis on there because we want to check to see if we can account for it later. And we don't know that until we check the next parentheses. 
Afterwards, uh, we want to check to see if our stack is empty. And if our stack is empty, that means we could account for every parenthesis, so this is going to equal true. Now let's make sure this works. Looks like I made some syntax errors there. And it looks like it's going to work, but let's go ahead and submit that, see if it does. And there we go, accepted. Now time complexity wise, this is O of N, and it's constant space because the only memory that we, well, actually it's not constant space. I guess it would be O of N space because of the stack. But unfortunately, I don't think that's something we can avoid, even if we do this recursively, which isn't advisable, could do it. Um, even if you do some sort of recursive approach, you would still need memory, right, to record the previous stack or the previous parenthesis. All right, I think that's it. Thanks for watching my channel. And remember, do not trust me. I know nothing.